Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a very special package. This is a Mission Impossible Challenge from Start With Toys. So I've done a few of these Mission Impossible Challenges and they are always so much fun. So I can't wait to see what is inside this package. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Applejack and oh no, <laughs> I see Rarity, but she's missing a leg. Her leg is in here. <laughs> Phew! Oh my gosh, I thought the challenge was uh oh, this actually might be kind of hard. The leg is broken. Oh dear. <laughs> well, let's see what the challenge is all about first. So it says. Hi Evie's Toy House, are you ready for your next Mission Impossible challenge? Inside the package are two MLP Question Girls minis, Applejack and Rarity. Your challenge is to give these two cute dollies a whole new Ever After High makeover transformation. You must transform Applejack into Apple White and Rarity into Raven Queen. You may use any art supplies to complete the look and be sure to upload the video to your YouTube channel. On your mark, get set, go! Start with toys! What a challenge. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna need to do some research. All right, so here is Apple White, and she has blonde hair, so we're kind of good since uh, Apple Jack has um, blonde, blonde hair. <laughs> but her, I think Apple Jack's outfit needs a bit of an upgrade over to Apple White's super fancy dress. What I'm gonna do is take some of this um, eraser clay and make a second layer on top of Apple White, um, Applejack's dress. Let's see if we can do that. All right, next we have to make Apple White's headband. So that is a bow with a little red um, ball on top. All right, so while the eraser pieces are baking, let's do some painting. So let's start with her shoes. So her shoes are red and gold. And right now, Applejack's shoes are brown and red. <laughs> Next, her inner skirt is completely red and it's dark red. Alright, next we have Applejack's head, her hair. So here is Apple White's outer skirt and because it's made from the eraser clay, it's a little bit soft. So now we have to paint it um, red and white. Okay, let's paint her shirt. Alright, now that Apple White's uh, boots are done, let's give it some of that uh, gold coloring. So I'm going to use some paint first and then put some, and then put some glitter on it.
All right, everyone. So here are all the various pieces that we painted and made today. So let's see what Applejack turned into Apple White looks like. So here is Applejack before, and then we transformed her into Apple White. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look. So here are her boots. So now they're red instead of brown, and they have red uh, gold apples with um, gold trim. And there's her little apple purse. She has a second layer to her dress and she has the, um, the glitter on it and then there's her hair which is a different color and it kind of there's a kind of highlights to it. <laughs> Alright, let's compare Apple White to Apple White. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think they look pretty good together. Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. So if you watched the video yesterday, you'll know that as part of a challenge from Start With Toys, I turned Applejack into Apple White. So today, my challenge is to turn Rarity into Raven Queen. So do you think I can do it? <laughs> Alright, so to start, we're going to take a look at uh, Raven Queen here. So Raven Queen has um, kind of magenta and purple and black hair. So we're going to do that to uh, Rarity's hair. Then she also has a really beautiful outfit with all these layers. So I'm not really sure if I can actually create the layers um, on this outfit, but um, I'm going to use some of the uh, eraser clay that I had yesterday with uh, Apple White and see if we can kind of do something. And also her shoes are completely black with some silver or gray laces. So this is some purple uh, eraser clay and this does need baking um, but after it's baked it'll still be slightly soft because it is an eraser so that's kind of nice for, uh, for clothing Okay, so let's do uh, Raven Queen's hair. So her hair is kind of like two-tone uh, with a little bit of kind of purple and magenta highlights in the front, but black in the back. So we're gonna do that two different colors, maybe a, little, a third color just to give it a little bit more highlight. So since I couldn't make the color that I wanted, um, I'm going to use these little nail polish pots. These are a little bit more reddish than uh, the ones I was able to make. So let's give it a try and hope it works out. Alright, so our eraser pieces are done, so let's paint them. This one is going to have three layers of purple on it. Okay, now we're ready to paint her shoes. It's going to be all black with some silver decals. So 
The next step, we're actually going to paint her sleeves white because Raven Queen is wearing a sleeveless shirt. So let's do that. Okay, we're also going to paint her shirt black. So all the pieces are ready. Are you guys ready to see Raven Queen put together? Alright, so here she is. This is Raven Queen. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's do a quick comparison with the Raven Queen doll. So here are her shoes. So um, this Raven Queen, the Equestria Girl, is wearing boots. So they're slightly different. And she has a purse. And I think the hair color turned out pretty well. <laughs> So I think the Equestria Girl uh, Raven Queen has a little bit more color and kind of highlights to it But I think she looks better this way. What do you guys think? Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we are making another Equestria Girls custom We are going to be making Briar Beauty from Ever After High And this was highly requested so thank you to everyone for sending in the request I hope you guys like her Alright, let's get started First, we're going to make Briar Beauty skirt out of clay. And this is because her dress looks like flower petals, which is very different from the styles of the Equestria Girls. So we're going to cut the clay to look like little petals. and then stick them one by one onto her skirt. For her hair, we're going to use dark brown. So she has dark brown hair with pink highlights. Once her hair is dried, we're going to paint her face. We're going to use a flesh tone. And we're going to give it a couple coats to color Verity's cutie mark. Once that's done, we're going to start with her eyes. So we're going to give her brown eyes. Add the black liner Clean up her eyes with a white paint Some eyelashes Add some eyebrows And give her a nice smile We're going to paint her entire body a flesh tone Then we're going to start working on her outfit. We're going to paint her top a darker pink. For her skirt, we're going to use a gradient. So we're going to start with a pink on the very bottom, and then some white on the top, and then start blending. For her boots, we're going to paint it a lighter pink just because her boots are very high and I don't want it to be the same color as her skirt. Once we have the color that we want, we're going to add in the details, the black lines.
Briar Beauty's top has a black mesh. So to mimic that, we're going to use black, but add some water to kind of wash it out. Finally, for the details, we're going to be using this pink silicone to add the roses to her shoulders. And also to her boots. Alright everyone, so here's Briar Beauty. What do you think? <laughs> I really love the way her hair turned out. I didn't use too many highlights, but I think it is just enough to kind of give her that pink without overdoing it. And her face is actually really clean too, so I like that. Not too much makeup, <laughs> just a few small lashes. And her skirt is really nice. I'm really glad I used the uh, the clay to make her skirt because these look much closer to what Briar Beauty wears than the one that Rarity originally had. So the one Rarity had kind of flares out, but this one is kind of looks like a petal. So that was really really cool. And her top turned out okay too. I was kind of afraid that it might look uh, look kind of just dirty, but <laughs> but you can't see the pink coming through. So I think that's okay. So let me know below in the comment section what you think of my custom. If you like my custom videos, make sure to subscribe so that you know when my next one is posted. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. So today we're making another Ever After High custom. We are going to be making Poppy O'Hare. So Poppy O'Hare is the daughter of Rapunzel and she has a very cool haircut. So we're going to be cutting off the hair of Applejack here and giving her a new haircut. Alright, let's get started. We're going to start by taking off Applejack's ponytail. And then we're going to make her new style using air dry clay. So I made a few strips here, I'm going to flatten them up and then I'm going to take them strip by strip and lay them on Applejack's head. And they're going to be a slight overlap just so that I can blend them together later. Alright, a few more strips. Okay, and now we're going to blend them. I'm going to use some water, so I'm going to wet my fingers and blend them together and flatten them some more. I'm going to blend the inside too using this little ball here. Now for the haircut. <laughs> I'm going to trim off the ends first and then now for the real haircut here we go <laughs> all right so after the hair has dried i'm going to paint her hair so i'm going to be using purple the right side of her hair is actually purple a very bright purple so this is really really cool and on the other side is brown i'm going to paint that in and don't forget the bottom <laughs> next for her face i'm using a light beige color so I'm going to use that and cover everything. And Applejack is a little bit more difficult to paint because she has her bangs sweeping down the front. And so I have to go around pretty carefully just so that I don't paint the hair. For the headpiece, I'm going to be using Twilight Sparkle's headband from the Slumber Party set. So this headband looks just like the one that Poppy wears. So I'm just going to trim it and then paint it. Okay, now for the eyes. So Poppy has very pretty green eyes. So I'm going to start with a little bit darker green and then add a little bit of light green to it. And then some pink eyeshadow on both eyes and add some glitter for a little bit of sparkle. This is looking so nice. Alright, so taking the black, I'm going to clean up her eyes, fill in the black lines, and then the white part of her eyes. Making sure to dot those eyes and then give her some eyebrows just a tiny bit one on the right side okay eyelashes and we're done with the eyes next I'm going to give her some lipstick so I'm going to start with some dark red and overlay that with a little bit of magenta okay let's paint her body so we're going to paint the neck and the arms a flesh tone and start painting her shirt. So her shirt is kind of a dark red magenta color. So I'm going to start with that. And then put in the black. Next put in the details on her shirt. And 
And now I'm going to cut her a little bit of part of her legs. She wears leggings, but you can see a little bit of her legs through it. So I'm going to prime the boots because they are dark brown, and this will make it easier to paint. Alright, next we're going to make her infinity scarf. So I want to take the air dry clay for her scarf and press it against Aquaman's car. So this will give it some texture. Now that the scarf is dry, I'm going to double load my paintbrush and use black and silver to give it that cool color. Alright, next we're going to paint her skirt white just to cover up the blue part. So to paint her skirt, I'm using a sponge. I'm putting some lavender and magenta on it and then using that and pressing against the skirt. Now I'm going to overlay that with a little bit of pink and black. Now we're going to paint her leggings on. So her leggings are black. Now we're going to add the crisscross tie details to it. Now we're going to paint her boots dark magenta red. And once the boots are done, I'm going to give it some lace details using black and some silver. Alright everyone, so here is Poppy O'Hare. What do you think? <laughs> I think her colors turned out great. I love this little headband on her. It fits her perfectly. And look at her hair. So she has her two-tone hair. And her haircut looks pretty good. So she has a very stylish haircut. So it comes out much longer on the right side. And it's painted purple. And then it's a regular kind of cropped haircut on the left side. And her eyeshadow turned out pretty good with the little bit of glitter. See that it's a little bit sparkly. I feel like her scarf too. So this piece actually does move a little bit. And um and I don't know if you can see it, but Aquaman's little car here gave it that little texture, which looks pretty darn cool. <laughs> so it's too bad you can't see the details on her shirt, but there is that little crisscross um details on her shirt, which is being covered up by the scarf, and her dress looks pretty cute too. So it's a mismatch of a bunch of colors, and I really like how they all come together. And her leggings are pretty cool too. She has these little crisscross details. And then the same with her boots. Alright you guys, so I had a lot of fun making this doll. So if you guys like it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot more customs. And if you guys subscribe, you'll know when I post it. Alright, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!